generations have we awaited this moment. struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. Do you? These, these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. Is that There's true? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. This would never fall for this because it's just like... So why not leave it all behind? It just doesn't match up with the reality of what we've been through. Leave it all. <laughs> this is not convincing. Like, I, whenever I see scenes like this, I imagine, like... A dentist sitting on that throne and the people there are like what what's the value of your life if all it wrought was death and the dentist is like bro I clean teeth <laughs> like, it's just like not it's not what matters Please. here what are you talking Would about somebody save me Would anybody love me I yearn yet still she is not mine have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Sleepnir's not even a real person. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just go away. Clive! Clive! None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. What? <laughs> brother.
remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the Phoenix. His trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix, emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Damn it, Clive. Wake up. That. That. Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place. Eh? again does my creation stray from the path laid before it. Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken and there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering.
and so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. this? Is it everywhere? I guess I don't remember where the spires are. Where that spire is. I guess that's a fallen um, ship of some kind. Crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh fuck me. Is that Ether? What in good Grieg's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Dill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you and none. Thank you. Well, that was eventful. Move from there. We go back to the hideaway. Mix of fading remnants, ambition song forgotten. Yeah, same description. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. Why are you going to need Otto's help? <laughs> what? Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Buy everything I can buy. You're rubbing me blind, you know. First the skies, then the can I make here? So, what it be? 
Defender plus one. It's better than the friggin' Ragnarok? Are you kidding me? Do I need this? Yeah, that should do you. Not my best work, but it'll do. Uh, I don't know if I want Behemoth Shackle. It'll last you a good while. Need to clutch How am I meant to do that then? Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. Where did I get clutch mine? That was somewhere. I guess it's a little bit stronger. Throughout history, many prominent strategists have declared that the best offense is good defense, so with a name like Defender, one might assume this blade is the best of both worlds. And it's just a plain sword. I do like that. Traitor misses. Oh my god, so many. Thank you, thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from this mortal coil. coil. Contrary to what the maddening or the madding crowd believes, we physicers are not without our limits. I cannot hope to cure every ill, mend every wound, save every life. Not only medicine uh, that will see you home safe without fail is prevention. Uh, not that this knowledge will ever stop any of you from chasing down some behemoth for its toenails. Hard to believe Theo is gone. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there in the stables, watering the birds or readying the packs. Yet he is not, and it is everything I can do to not fall to my knees and weep. Still, I know I have to move on, but that doesn't mean I have to forget. My brother and I built all we have here together. So as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me. And I shall honor him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. What happened in Eastpool with the bearers and guardians has been a long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many, and it is through victories such as these that the fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but if I'm beginning, it is. Thanks again for helping get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Owen in them lot would still be stuck stilling blight water over a bonner. There's always room for improvement, though, so don't get your knickers in a knot. Should I come a knocking at your chamber door looking for more spheres and ash and whatnot? Five, there's but one crystal left needs cracking, but one man who can do it. See that you don't miss. Auto. While the going was slow and not without the occasional run-in with some straggling orc, I saw Edda back safe to the shadow coast where Mid was waiting kindly with the Enterprise. On the voyage home, I like to think the poor lass opened up a little telling us about her life and the life she wants for her baby. But I suppose it's up to us now to make for certain the little one gets it. Why don't you tell us some of that, Gav? <laughs> because we don't know anything about her. Are there gonna be any other side quests or anything? Is this where it's gonna drop off all the hunts, the the a bunch of new hunts for us, where we get what we need to craft the Gotterdamerung? Nope. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. I guess my best upgrade I can get is something that uh has. That needs clutch mine wherever I get that. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. <clears throat> right. All hands on deck, then. this everyone oh you know what maybe I can buy it from a store <laughs> as I'm sure you've all guessed the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima she called it origin now the significance of that name is as yet unclear what does it matter what it's called its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Uh, 
Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. faced him at stone here ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin needless to say we cannot allow that to continue if we are to stop him we will have to find a way into the crystal how are we gonna manage that then it's up in the sky and fast as she is the enterprise can't fly It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Thank you. Okay. Joshua seemed upset. Talk to Josh in a minute. Anything else? I do need to check for clutch mine. Nothing there. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check to see if I could buy it because I know a lot of crafting materials are available for purchase. Because if I can buy what I need to upgrade Still this, alive, I are you? Coin purse weighing you down. Mine. Oh, okay, perfect. I don't remember how much I need, so I'll buy just like a hundred. Better I'll be here. Trouble with your gear, or what do you want? Yeah, that should do you. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anything else? What's in this menu? I mean, I know what it is, but what's it saying is that we have just more stuff in the appearance window? Uh, all right, who do we... This guy. Oh, we just wandered near him.
Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember. All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. <laughs> I like Dion. I just wish he had more, like, screen time. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. All right. I only hope she understands. While I was in that cutscene, I decided I wanted to try changing some costumes, because I just really don't like these outfits. <laughs> uh, I don't like that one very much. Doesn't really make much sense. 
as an outfit. I'll just leave Clive in his regular stuff because it looks normal. That's nice. I'll put her in that one. I do like that one. We'll change Torgal. And we'll put Ambrosia in that. And I kind of like the new weapon, Defender. It looks normal. I don't know what my favorite sword was. It's this one. I do like this one a lot too. Just a regular looking sword. Oh, I didn't realize that Clive has a sidearm. That's interesting. Little detail I never put together. All right, let's go talk to Jill, I guess. I wish we could dress up Dion. I wish we could dress up everyone. Where the hell is Jill? Is she in here? No. Oh, she's in my bedroom. Be waiting for her there. <clears throat> I think I just hate Clive's cape. I wish he I wish we were just wearing the original armor, the green armor that he had when he was a bearer, but to wish on a star. <laughs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end. For better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Sure, I haven't forgotten anything. You have got to be kidding. Oh my god, look at all of these side quests. Ugh, in a mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all of his time late on the rear deck whimpering like Gavin his cups. Something ain't right, and my gut tells me it's not to do with supplies of ant supply of antelope bones. What is it this time, Torgal? All right, well, we have a new batch of side quests to take on. In search of a lost tome. Reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter, albeit one that might be beneficial to your case. Cause. There exists ancient text deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime, and is a chance to encounter with such a tome from a distance that sparked within me a scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. Which to enlist your aid in reclaiming the text should you further require incentive, know that I'm willing to offer compensation. What's wild about this is that there's no one to enforce this Nothing law. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Like... We killed all the kings. <laughs> What's the point? Literally everyone is on our side. It's not illegal to have this book. I promise you. Oh, there's a person over here. Who is that? Oh, it's Torgal on the rear decks. Gotcha. Is this someone? Oh. oh my god, there are so many quests. Okay. Let's check on the world map. Oh my god, there's some on the world map. Okay, so we have like 400 quests to do. Oh, okay, that's bad. 
There are so many. Are there gonna be more hunts now too? All right, folks, get prepped for seven more episodes ahead of the finale. Jeez. Ask about origin. You're set on this planet of yours then. I am. They didn't even voice any of these lines and they gave us a backward, oh my God. You never were one to shy away from a fight. They aren't even voicing the start of these lines. These, this is so embarrassing out of nowhere. This is the first time in this game this has happened. They really ran out of budget here in the end. Holy smokes. Some might say it runs in the family. Ha, your father would be proud. Thank you, Uncle. I know he'll be with us up there. As for down here... You may take comfort in the knowledge that the realm will be in my capable hands until your return. Ha 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 ha. Indeed. I cannot believe they're doing cutbacks to Clive. Three's company. Clive, my boy! Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't, Hadn't intended, intended you to get involved. But such are the times we live in, huh? I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. <clears throat> but I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many, but in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes. But such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the high commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. I thought he was retired. He was, until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle and he has certain qualms about clasping arms with well with an outlaw i extolled your many virtues as best i could of course but the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person he don't mind do you my boy if that is your wish of course not as long as chaos reigns we will never build a better world I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, Uncle. No, thank you, Clive. Okay. Oh. Joshua's got a side quest. Oh, Clive. All right. Uh, 
ask about the origin. This is it then, brother. Our last dance with Ultima awaits. <sighs> Only the founder knows what awaits us up there. Indeed. But whatever we find, we shall overcome it. It would not do to disappoint our friends. They all believe in you, Clive. They would follow you to the ends of the earth if they could. You're wrong. My friends don't follow me. They spur me on. I couldn't have made it this far without them. Nor without you, Joshua. You gave me your blessing and made me your shield. Without you, I don't know how I would have even survived. Even when we were apart, you were always with me, and I trust you'll be with me now until the end. Of course. Whenever that may be. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. It's... Not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will. How? And where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Of course. <clears throat> of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter. And something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her, bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. Then we go together. We'll be needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the Narrow. Does that mean... I'm making an exception. That we travel together. And we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting? We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test, then? 
my time is yours. One can never have too many scouts. True words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Any new hunts? Doesn't look like it. No new hunts. I guess I'm really just never going to Clive. get stuff. Here you that go. sucks. Under new management. Lines in the sand. Seen okay. Enough? So we have three side quests out in the world. Some more to pick up here. Us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. But that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Mid at all. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. And that's what I said. In the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Mididol's inventions. Oh, don't listen to her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's gonna put Miss Mididol back together? She seems really sad. I'm a little worried about Mid myself. Why don't I go and see if I can shoot? You do that! Oh, for oops. Us. She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. Pining for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Sade, that's why. On the day I brought him home. That long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard him being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone? You find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what you were looking for was you. I'm sorry, Togo. Sorry for making you wait so long. Oh. Let's get that thing off you. I don't think Torgo's model had that before. <laughs> don't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? You want me to go with you somewhere? Oh. Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. 
Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on now. Where to then, Torgal? <clears throat> Say what you will. Isn't there another? Yeah, there's another quest up here. How do I get all the way up there? I don't even remember being able to access that area. What is all the way up there? All right, let's see if we can bang out some of these side quests real quickly as well. Uh, because it would be nice if some of these are literally just like, talk to some people around here. Because that would be nice. Sid, may I have a moment? Of course. It is an honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with the Curse Breakers for some time now, and uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. Or rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone, and few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names, but they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded, every death logged with meticulous care. Sid, allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. I'll go instead. You're a good friend, Herman. But the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please. Even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. Be the grace. Oh, I know where that is. Hidden in a forest. Overlooking the plains. All right. May the mothers guide oh, you. All right. So we got all these quests. Uh, cool. All right. Well, now we have to just work on getting all these progressed. <laughs>